Good morning, dear students. Hope you and your family members are staying safe. And I am sure you must be completing your work on daily basis. Students, in such unusual time, you must have learned many new things. Learning is a tool which always keeps us ahead. So today again, you will learn a new thing that is notice writing. A notice is a written or printed news, announcement or information. A notice may contain information about something that has happened or is likely to happen. It may be a formal announcement of public importance or an advance warning meant for compliance and information. A notice can be about a meeting, an event, an excursion, historical trip, lost and found, change of name, address, uniform, timings, venue, etc. Notices issued by the government appear in newspapers. A notice must include what is going to happen, where will it take place, when will it take place, who can apply or is eligible for it, who can be contacted. Students, you have to keep these five W's in your mind. Students, remember few things before drafting a notice. A good notice is always to the point and leaves no scope for future inquiries. Avoid using personal pronouns like I and we. The sentences must be short and grammatically correct. Highlight the word notice and title. It can be either bold or underlined. Always enclose the notice in a box. Repetition of any information should be avoided. Children, the word limit for the body of a notice is 40 to 50 words. Never exceed the word limit. You can use standard abbreviations also. Abbreviations means short forms of the words. Focus on presentation and clarity. Let's have a look on format of a notice. Children, first of all, draw a box. Now, at the top of the box, write the name of the institution or organization that is issuing the notice. In the second line, just below the institution's name, write the word notice in capital letters. It will draw the attention of the reader. After the title, on the left hand side, write the date on which the notice is written. Students, since this is a formal document, date is an important aspect. Then move on to an appropriate heading to the notice. You are supposed to affix a catchy heading in the mid of the next line. Students, after giving a suitable heading, write brief and to the point body of the notice. The body should contain all the necessary information required in the notice. At the end of the notice, put signature of the issuing authority. Just below the signature, write name and designation of the notice writer. Students, when name is not mentioned, then you have to assume yourself as XYZ or 
A B C and sign accordingly. Children, designation is the post of the person who is drafting the notice, like head boy, head girl, librarian, etc. Ho! Oh, now you have understood all about the notice writing. Children, it's your turn now. Go through all the given solved notices in your book. Practice more, score more. Make this a habit. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.